When I was young, I was always obsessed with looking at maps. They provided me with a sense of awareness. In many ways, maps remind me of oneness and how we are all sharing this same planet. I started this journey of moving and living abroad in order to find some type of purpose within my life. And I think this purpose is revealing itself in each connection and experience I have that helps build a mutual understanding amongst each other. Welcome to Tenerife. In Playa de las Tejitas. Right here is the Montaña Roja. You can see why. Because I'm an island boy and I've been trying to make. Oh, I'm an island boy. boy. So we are leaving Granada, unfortunately, but this means we're going to a new place. Good afternoon, this is your captain speaking. Just inform you that we already started our descent to Tenerife North Airport, where we estimate to land in 20 minutes from now. That's why I brought today uh, the north part of the island is quite cloudy, quite windy. The 19 degrees at this moment in last rain. Tenerife. The largest and most populated of the Canary Islands. The island is known for its beautiful black sand beaches and crystal clear water. This island is dominated by Mount Tate. Standing at 12,198 feet, making it the highest point in all of Spain and the third largest volcano in the whole world. These islands are a lot closer to Africa than they are to mainland Spain. Sitting just 62 miles off the coast of the Western Sahara. All seven islands of the archipelago were formed from volcanic eruptions. The most recent was in 2021 on La Palma. The volcano lasted for 85 days, releasing ash and rivers of lava that destroyed more than 1,000 homes, cut off highways, and wiped out banana plantations that drive the island's economy. About 7,000 residents on La Palma were forced to evacuate their homes. Each of the islands have their own microclimates. From changes in temperature to complete landscape transformations. You can go from lush green tropical forests to arid moon-like deserts that feel like a different planet. We're in the process of looking for an apartment here in Santa Cruz. What do you think? It's like a dorm room. <laughs> there's not even like a, there's really not even a common area. I think nah. a couch. Not having much luck. Too soon. Last couple of days. Well, we've been here already for a week tomorrow and a week tomorrow. nothing has really happened in the past five or six days, but just now we're starting to get. We're starting to gain some traction. Yeah. So we just saw. A really good one. It's a really good price. It's
it's located right in the center. Um, I think we're choosing between that one and another one. So we'll see what the decision is later. We got a little bit of time to decide, so. What are your first impressions of Santa Cruz? Okay, right. It's really different from anywhere I've ever been. It's super like residential and calm and peaceful, but it's really pretty. Yeah, there's a lot more nature here. The beach is like 20 minutes drive from us, which is super nice. And yeah, it's always good weather here. There's always a nice breeze in the air, which is beautiful. Three weeks later. This apartment is ours. Our second apartment we bought together. <laughs> How do you feel? I feel relieved because this has been a three week long process. It's, it's finally over. It was a two week long process for this particular apartment. So I'm just, we're having spa night tonight. It's been super stressful. Calling places, trying to speak in Spanish and broken Spanish. Um, yesterday we saw a cockroach in the Airbnb. I was like, nah, no more. This can't be. End of the story. About to have a nice night. Pop some bottles in here. As I mentioned before, El Teide dominates the island of Tenerife. However, its surrounding national park is a reason why so many people visit every year. Just a car ride through this park is an adventure in itself. From amazing rock formations, to incredible views, to a sea of clouds. Being this close to an active volcano is a surreal experience. And fortunately, it hasn't erupted for 100 years. But if it does, the results could be catastrophic. Completely drowning all seven islands, causing a mega tsunami that would reach the east coast of the United States and taking hundreds of thousands of lives. But until that happens, I'm gonna try my best to see all that this island has to offer. Parque Naga is a natural reserve located on the northwestern tip of the island. The park is known for being a home to many different species and many different landscapes as well. We decided to hike six miles from Parque Naga to the westernmost point in the north of the island. Kilometers away are we?
legs were shaking by the end of this hike, but it ended up being one of the most beautiful that I've ever been on. With incredible views pretty much every step of the way. So this is very, very typical of the Canary Islands. Papas arrugadas. The word arrugadas means wrinkled. <laughs> so that's why you see the potato kind of has this wrinkled uh, skin. This uh, kind of sauce right here is called mojo. So I'll give it a taste. It's like a smoky cayenne, cayenne flavor of paprika, I think. That's really good. Here we have some amagrote, which is cheese. It's like a cheese dip, but it has pistachio on it also. It tastes like pirate's booty. Huh? Pirate's booty. Pirate's booty. Second plate just came out. We have croquetas. Zanahoria. Zanahoria, which is carrots. What's inside? Let's see. Oh my goodness. Yummy. Wow. Let's get done. Bueno. So right here we have churros de pescado. Fish. Almost like, like fish sticks. Fish sticks, fried fish sticks. Fish sticks, fried fish sticks. That's a lot of stuff. I didn't yeah. mean to. You're, I'm under pressure because you're recording. <laughs> To a sense, I cut off some hoes and some friends. Not all the people was good for me. Doing some things that we shouldn't be. Hello on my head, I'm protected. I can see the hate, but I deflect it. I can feel the love, and I reflect it. I stay humble, never let gratitude. If it rumble, I stay grinding, keep my cool. Blessed up, operate in divine timing. I woke up, see my phone, and I had money piling. I tap in, I go deep, so I'm feeling numb. It's only me, so I know that I am the chosen one. I let go, it feels attached to my ego. My heart shot the color green like she go. They love the way I look, my aesthetics. She love the way I move, I'm athletic. She really love the way I sound. She really love the way I bound. <laughs> Skin. Never in my life did I think I would end up living on an island. It seems like only a few short months ago I felt so lost about the direction of my life. And I still get that feeling often. But while sitting at the beach one day I realized that this experience is not just a random occurrence. All we have in life are just moments. There's been a lot of talk about living in the now these days. But not many people know what it means. Or how it feels. Oh, I just can't help when you creep into my memory. Time free ones like we have so much potential as human beings to live life as we want. From the of your touch, your touch. But it's hard for us oh, to see I the possibilities. You creep into my Most memory. times, we're obsessed with the doing rather than just being. 
And when we do, we often find ourselves exactly where we are meant to be.